Hello, this video will go over Artstore Digital Library and how to find images using Artstore for your projects. Once you're on the CGO Kelly Library homepage, which you can get to by hovering over Academics and selecting CGO Kelly Library, you can access Artstore in two main ways. If I scroll down on the library's website to these four boxes here, I can access Artstore by going either directly to our databases page, selecting A, and scrolling down until I see Alt Store Digital Library here on the side and clicking Connect. The other way is back on the library's homepage is going to that button underneath Resources by Subject and going down to Alt and Alt Resources and going to the Alt Resources LibGuide as you see it here. This guide also has links to relevant databases. You can search for articles and other resources uh, as well as useful websites. So I can access Alt Store in two places on this LibGuide. I can do it by selecting it over here on this left box, or I can go to the tab labeled Finding Images, and Alt Store is listed right here at the top. And I can click to it from there. If you're accessing library resources off campus, the first time you click into one of our databases, it will ask you to log into this access by proxy. And this is just the first part of your email and your email password. And then you would fill that information and click proceed. If you're having an issue with your password, you'll need to contact IT. If your password is correct, you're able to still log into your email OK, then contact the library and we can try to help make sure you can get past that proxy page. Once you log into it once, it shouldn't ask for it again during the same session, um, but you will be asked to do it when you're trying to use, all, use resources off campus. So when you're in Alt Store, you should see this access by Winston-Salem State University here at the top. I recommend registering for an account. This way you can save images to folders and have access to get them back. And you can also, once you've saved all the images to a folder, download them into a PDF or other format to get easy access offline. When you're registering for a new account, you can use your campus email, pick a password. Your role at the institution would just be college, university, undergraduate student. Your academic department, you can put art history for this class or you can put your major. And then you just want to make sure you agree to Alt Store's digital library terms and click register. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to just log into my account real quick. And no, Alt Store does want your full password or your full email, so it's a little different in that regard. So I'm going to log in and I can see it myself at the top that I'm logged in. So Art Store has access to millions of different images that come from different art institutions, um, colleges, museums from around the world. So it has a wealth of images and information. And to see, to kind of navigate Art Store, you can do a basic search where you're just searching either for something in particular, or you can do an advanced search. The advanced search is nice because you can kind of see how Art Store uh, organizes things. So you can put in your uh, keywords here as well if you wanted to. You can also select different specific date ranges. And notice that you pay attention to the BCE and the CE. So BCE is uh, before the Common Era and CE is the Common Era. So if you're doing research, in this century or in this past few centuries, you want to make sure you're at CE. So I can say I want something from 1800s uh, to the 2000s. And I have my CEs both selected there. I could also over here select a different classification. So if I'm interested specifically in paintings, I could select that. If I'm interested in a certain geographical location, uh, I could also select a country if I want to limit it down, or multiple countries um, in that way. And so let's just say I'm interested in South America paintings from the 1800s to the 2000s, oh, until 2000. I don't necessarily have to put a keyword here. I can just see what they have um, and browse it that way. 
And the way alt still works is it will populate the images here if you kind of th see the thumbnail image of the painting or the work. And it will show you on the side its selections that you've selected. So we selected South America, those, the painting classification, those other things that have multiple classifications to them. So if you want to narrow it down further, you can. You can see kind of where the images are coming from. And then if you wanted to adjust the date range, you can do it here. And with the images, um, you can also search by artist. I will say that I did a basic browsing search, but if you want to just plug in an artist name up here, you can um, do it that way as well. But when I find an image I'm interested in, so I'm just going to click on this first image here. If I click on the thumbnail, it's going to take me to the images record. And this record will include helpful metadata um, that you need for your project. So it gives you the title, it gives you the type of work it is, it gives you the date of the work, and it will also give you the rights so you kind of know who has the copyright images to it. Most of the things we do um, in college it falls under fair use, but just be aware if you access these things outside of college or for other um, types of projects, you need to pay attention to the copyright. Um, but for the most part, these image details will have the information that you need. And if they don't and you want more information, it will show you the repository or the collection where it lives in. And you can go to their website directly and find out more information about them. And what's nice about ArtStore, especially compared to images you get offline, is that you can get really high quality images in ArtStore. So I can come over here and zoom in to a picture and it will give me much finer details than I can get anywhere else and allow me to look at a painting really in a close manner. And I can also zoom out. And like all databases for articles, there's ways for you to kind of interact with the image um, in different ways. So I can download the image directly from the screen. So if I download the item, it's going to give me the image as a whole. If I wanted to zoom in on a certain detail, I can download that detail view and then it would just download whatever is shown in my box over here on the side. I can also cite the item in proper citation format. So if I wanted the MLA citation, I could come grab it here. And this is the citation for the work or for the image. And then I could also copy and paste this uh, URL if I want to get directly back to this image. But with Oldstore, one of its features is being able to create groups. And so you'll see here at the top, this orange button says I can add it to a group. So I want to add the item as a whole. And this shows the groups I already have created, but maybe I want to create a new group down here. And if you don't have any groups and you've just made an account, you won't have this listed. It would just automatically prompt you to create a new group. You can give it a title. So South American Paintings. You don't have to give it the description. I mean, this is for you to see. So if you want to, you can. Um, only me, only I can see my group, and then I can click Create. And so now you'll see a pop-up screen will say this was added to my group and I can go to the group and see what all I have in there. If I go back to the results screen, Altstore also allows me to select multiple images at once. So I already have that one, but let's say I want these next three in my group as well. I can have them checkboxed here. I can come to Organize. And I can say I want to save my selections to an existing group. And so I'll select the group I just created and I'll click Add. So now if I go to the group from this pop-up, it will show me all the images that I've been saving to my group. And from here, it's going to allow me to export these images either into a PowerPoint or a zip file. And what's nice about that, so I'm going to download it into a PowerPoint. And you'll notice that we have a restriction where we can only download 2,000 images in a 120-day period. So I'm going to agree to the conditions, and I'm going to export it into a PowerPoint.
So what's nice about exporting it into a PowerPoint, and we'll see when this one opens, is that it will have a nice image of the walk that you can easily copy and paste into a Word document. But it's also going to keep all that metadata, all that details that I saw on the side, such as the institution and the walk type. And it's going to keep that together with the image so that when I open my PowerPoint, and notice it might take a little while for your PowerPoint to open depending on how many images you have because these are high quality images, they take a little time. Um, but like I said, it will give you that image in the PowerPoint that you can copy and paste over into a Word document. And then in the notes section, it's going to keep all the other details. So I can see um, the details that they have listed. Now you'll notice some of them will have like materials and measurements and then that first one we saw doesn't. And this is again one of those things where you might have to go to the uh, repository that actually has the image and get that information from them. But going back to ArtStore, um, these browse and organize buttons are the main ways to get to your group. Um, browse is just basically what we were doing before browsing the ArtStore digital library and you can do it from any search bar on ArtStore. And then once you have created a group, organize is the main way that you would get to that group. So if I went back to browse and I'm just going to um, put in an artist this time. But if I'm in my search results screen and I go to organize, this is again how you add things to the collection and browsing allows you to browse the collections and also access your groups. So I can select groups and see my groups here. If you have any questions about how to access ArtStore, how to find certain images on ArtStore, feel free to reach out to me um, back on that Alt Resources LibGuide through the library. My contact information is there, so you can email me. Um, or I'm not in office right now, but you can uh, email me for help.